Okay, I just finished a big project and I hope to have a video uploaded onto my YouTube channel about that, about adding some security measures to our house regarding an incident that occurred. And uh, right now, I got enough energy today to, to um, get ready for calving. Um, our big black Angus over there. Hi, Jackson. Jackson's coming over to say hello to everybody. But the big black Angus, her udder is huge. It's very swollen and her nipples are very large and her... Her private lady area in the back is starting to seep a lot of fluid, so I think she's getting ready to drop that baby. Hi, Jackson. Little Jackson, you got some big burrs in your head. Look at this big old cactus little sticker right here. Jackson, he's very sensitive, huh? Come here, Jackson. Come here. We're going to get back on the... Uh, talk to people on TV, okay? Let me get that off of you. Look at that. Those things are sharp. And that right there is uh, Jackson rubbing himself on... Um, blueberry or blackberry pants plants one or the other anyways mama cow she is uh she's one proud mama she's ready to drop that baby and so what i'm going to do here today rather than use a wheelbarrow I'll use the tractor is i'm going to thank you jackson is i'm going to get all this slush out of here it's actually not too bad of a stall but i'm going to get the slush out here from the last rain clean it out really good um, spread all of that out everywhere else. The manure I'm going to put somewhere where I need it for fertilizer. Uh, dump it out there. Then I'm going to dump a bag of, um, what do they call it? Uh, it's new to me here since I'm being reintroduced into the country life. Um, pellets. Anyways, they're pellets. See, a whole bag of pellets. And uh, it, it's like cat litter for livestock. And it soaks up the, the, the water and uh, urine. And then I'm going to dump a whole bunch of straw in here and get it all ready for uh, Mama Cow to drop her her baby. Mama, you've got to have the baby in here, okay? And you have to have the baby at night when we're sleeping so that I don't have to help you because I've never calved a calf before. And I don't want to put my arm all the way up inside of you and be turning that calf around. As you can see, they're, they're hanging pretty low. Look, look how big she is, man. <laughs> Anyways, um, come here, sweetie. Hi, baby. She's so she's such a sweet girl. This cow is so kind. Doesn't let me pet her very long though. But um, yeah. See, she's seeping a lot of fluid back there, so she's gonna have a baby pretty quick. And so I need to have this cleaned out and dry, and brand new straw put in here, so that the baby cow will have a good bed. And then when we get done with this. We're going to send uh, Mama Cow off up to the harvest place, and we're going to turn her into porterhouse and T-bones and roast and, and ribs. Oh, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. I love teasing people. Mama, you didn't hear that, did you? And we also need to sink a scratching post for them. We used to have them for horses. Big posts cemented in the ground, wrapped with, with rope, and then they can scratch themselves like that. I need to sink a scratching post in here for them. So here it is. I'm excited about this. I think there's going to be a baby here within the next couple days. And, oh, but she might surprise us. She might decide to have her baby in the secluded woods over there. Way in the woods. And um, it's beautiful back there for them. But uh, there's also a little bit of a cliffs and things that the calf can fall down. So I hope Mama's smart enough to understand that she needs to have it down here where it's flat. Signing out. Very excited about this.